Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Falling Over Books. For today's video I am doing a video review for Me and Me by Alice Cooper's. You can really see the cover. I'm sorry the lighting is so bad. Um, but I received an ARC from H. CC Frenzy which um, is Canadian HarperCollins. So thank you so much for this ARC. This was my first a requested um, arc that I got accepted for. I'm just so happy that I had the chance to receive a copy. So thank you again to Suman at HCC Frenzy for um, sending a copy my way. I really, really appreciate it. If you want to pick up your own copy of Me and Me, it is officially out, so you can go buy it if you want. All right, so I gave Me and Me three out of five stars. Um, I have read three other Alice Cooper's books so I was very familiar with her writing and everything. Um, I've actually met her a couple of years ago. It was for my English class and like I had to sit down with her and she was really really nice um, and that was great. That was a great experience. Anyways, um, yeah so I really did enjoy this book. It essentially is about a girl who on her 17th birthday she goes on a canoe ride with this boy that she likes and she sees in the distance um, a girl that she used to babysit and their family and they go on the canoe and the girl that she used to babysit Annabelle screams and she fell in the water and then at the, as her as Lark and Alec both dive in, Alec hits his head and he goes over so she has to decide who to save and in that moment her life changes into two different choices. So one choice she saves Alec and the other choice she saves Annabelle and it's both like each chapter is the consequence of that choice. Um, if that makes any sense. I'm really butchering the synopsis. I apologize. So essentially it's like that. Um, as I said, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it, but I just felt like I wasn't getting anything from the characters. Um, I, liked, I liked Lark. I thought she was a, a great main character and I enjoyed reading from her POV. But there was just something that lacked for me in here. Um, and. I think the insta love was kind of a problem for me. It was like 20 pages in and she thought Alec might be her soulmate. And like it, it was just so insta lovey and it was like I feel like we didn't, there was nothing I feel like to the relationship between Alec and Lark. I just felt like they liked each other. But there was nothing more like I don't know I just felt like that lacked for me I also felt like I didn't really know any of the other characters like she's in a band and so we find out more about her bandmates and whatnot but I just felt like we didn't really know them at all either um, yeah it was just difficult to connect to the characters because there wasn't a big development with them it was just I don't know, I felt like also there was a lack of development with Lark as well and the fact that like, I don't know, you know how some books are more descriptive than dialogue and some books are more dialogue than description? I feel like Me and Me is like that. It's more dialogue than it is description because I, I didn't feel like it described a lot of things. It just, I don't know, I liked it but it's not, I don't think something I'll reread. Um, you like contemporaries you'll probably like it I just I needed more from the characters the premise was interesting and it was well done it was followed through the whole book which I think sometimes it can get lost um, and it kind of had like not really super natural but like it had this weird interesting thing with parallel universes which was cool um, but I felt like that also came out of nowhere um, because, yeah, it was just kind of odd, but it made sense to the story, so it didn't take anything away from it or whatever. I liked it. Um, 
I don't really have much else to say. I mean, even though I found it to be very insta-lovey, I still liked their relationship. I thought it was very typical teenage relationship. <laughs> Just not something that completely captivated me and that I was obsessed with. It's super short, so it's an easy read, but I also feel like because it's so short, I felt like there was just nothing to it. Like I read it in one sitting, um, which I do with all my books. I don't know, also, um, I kind of want to say spoiler, but something happens to Alec, but it happens kind of like out of the blue. There's really no other signs of what happens to him. And it's like usually there would be like signs or she would notice something, but like she completely, I feel like a lot of times Lark was more about herself than anything, which I understand, but she also kept blowing off her friends for Alec, which to me is not <laughs> always okay. So yeah, there were just a few things that bothered me, but it's an entertaining read and I do recommend it if you like contemporaries or if you want something a little different. I do recommend it, and yes, um, I also have a review up on Goodreads, and I'm going to be putting up a, a review on Amazon and on Indigo, so um, those will be kind of small written reviews, um, as well as on my bookstagram, I'll have a small review. So if you want to read more of my thoughts in a more organized way, you can go read those reviews, which I will link all down below. But yes, um, thank you again, HarperCollins for sending me a copy. I really, really, really appreciate it. I am so happy I got my first ARC to review. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this review video. I am not really the best with reviews, so I hope this video wasn't so scatterbrained. It's probably really short. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I just didn't have a lot to say on the book. Um, so yes, uh, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!